What is up, everybody? War Chant TV time. Michael Langston in the house talking recruiting, but basketball recruiting. But before we get to all that, subscribe, lower right corner, hit the like button. You should like it. We're talking about a, a big time basketball recruit for Leonard Hamilton and the Knowles. Matthew Cleveland, a four star from the state of Georgia, Michael, uh, made a pledge to Florida State, committed uh, on his Twitter account, I think. We'll pull it up here momentarily. Uh, but another great coup for this staff and this program. Uh, for your understanding, I, I think I saw Ira tweeted out that you know his parents, um, you know, went to Georgia Tech. He was talking about Stanford. There was a couple other blue bloods in the mix there. Uh, what do you think ultimately led Florida State to being able to land another uh, big time blue chip basketball? Team? Well, I think ultimately that what really helped them was obviously first off, Cy Cy Young did a uh, Cy did a great job, Coach Cy, uh, as far as. Uh, pulling him in, having a relationship there. But I also think there's a chance that FSU could lose like two or three guys in this, uh, you know, after this season, um, this upcoming season, you know, like Scotty Barnes is there. He's a hot shot five-star you know, recruit that could leave after one year. And then you, and then you have several other guys that, that could, you know, leave. And so that gives them a good situation of, of opportunities for his playing time, uh, chance to go in early. And let's face it, FSU is one of the top five, top 10 national programs in the country. So, um, you know, there's a very big attraction there. And I think too, and then lastly, I think the biggest thing and, and kind of uh, Matthew mentioned this, uh, you know, when he talked about his commitment was uh, it's such a good fit as far as what um, Leonard Hamilton and his staff have done with wings. If you look back, at the last three or four years of what they've done with wings and, and all those guys are a majority of them are in the NBA right now. So I think he's done such a good job with wings that that was a big attraction that obviously FSU offers plenty as far as academically, it's not Stanford or Georgia tech, obviously, but it's still really solid. And so I think when you combine everything, it was just a combination that was a, a perfect fit for, for Matthew and, and like I said, everything, the, do, the dominoes just lined up as far as with FSU and what they, what they needed in this, uh, you know, this class. And obviously he joins McGowan's in this class, a guy he's very aware of. They complement each other very well. So big, humongous news for FSU as far as uh, getting a talent like uh, Matthew Cleveland. Michael, in terms of the people that you spoke to in basketball recruiting circles, what are some of the things that seem to stand out about Matthew Cleveland and given the distinction of being such a uh, highly touted recruit and prospect? Yeah, for those that haven't seen, we put up a story yesterday with me and me and Corey Evans. Uh, and Corey really broke down his game saying, uh, this kid is exceptional and almost unguardable when it comes to the 15 or between the 12 to 17 feet range as far as his shot he's just automatic if he's open you could pretty much lock it down so he's very good it's kind of paul pierce like that's kind of the guy he compared him to uh, he does a lot of things that paul pierce does uh can pull up can you know he's very hard to stop as far as just one-on-one between that 12 to 17 range and then he's developing a a three-point shot as far as as far as his game so i think that's what you know, makes this kid very special that he can score in, in a multitude of ways. And, and if he can develop a three point shot, as we saw Paul Pierce did um, once he, you know, when he got with the Celtics and, you know, coming out of high school with Kansas, I think he, he started to develop that three point shot. And this is kind of kid that has those same qualities that he can develop that three point shot. And he's already got that mid range game and, and he's certainly athletic, certainly a guy that can take it to the rim very good off the dribble. Uh, Going to be, you know, Corey Evans has even told me in, in our story that, you know, this kid's right on the cusp of a five-star. So there's a good chance he'll be a five-star when everything shakes down. But a, a guy that can score in multiple ways is the best way to describe, um, you know, Matthew Cleveland. And, and he's just extremely special and extremely unique where you don't usually have a guy that's a shooting guard or a as shooting guard that can, really attack you in every part of the game as far as off the drive off off um you know running layups or running running hook shots or running just mid-range shots and is very few that that have the mid-range game that this kid does and and Corey Evans couldn't stop raving about his mid-range game and how it's practically unstoppable at times 
So he becomes the fourth uh, commit for this 2020 class, uh, joining Scotty Barnes, Sardar Calhoun, and Quincy Ballard. He hasn't updated on rivals as of us uh, recording this, but uh, Florida State currently ranked 20th in the nation. I imagine with this, they're probably going to vault uh, quite high. So uh, crazy times, right? Michael seeing Florida State ranked this highly and pulling in this sort of caliber of recruit. Yeah, actually, he's going to be in the 2021 class. Oh, so okay. um, he would be the second commitment in their class. I think uh, Rice McGowan's is the other one. He's another. Both of them are top 30 players. Um, so both of them, you're talking about two top 30 players that Leonard Hamilton's already added. I think I think Matthew's probably going to be a five-star outside shot that, that Bryce could also be a five-star. So you could eventually have two five-stars in, in your class that you already have. Uh, we went, th me and Corey Evans went through some guys, uh, Ryan Matambo, who's uh, Dikembe's, I think, uh, a relative to Dikembe Matambo. Um, he's he's also related to Kevin Gailey. So he's a guy that he said to monitor, but some really good stuff in there. I won't say everything as far as in that article, but there's plot. He talks about some of the other targets that FSU's after, but certainly Matthew Cleveland was uh, a massive uh a massive pickup to say the least. Like even Leonard Hamilton got on Twitter and said, yeah, I think I'm going to dance a little today. So uh, he was pretty excited. The staff was pretty excited. CY did a tremendous job there. But, um, and the kid said he's known for like uh, two weeks that he was going to FSU. So this has kind of been in, in play. And I think FSU's known that they're getting it, but it's still, it tells you about how recruiting is just, you know, changing as far as with Leonard Hamilton and what he's turning this FSU basketball program into. You know, just a little while back, people, you know, when they lost to like 30 points by Xavier in, in the NCAA tournament, everyone wanted to get rid of him. And it's just like now it's just um, it, once Leonard's gotten his group of 11 guys and the rotations he's wanted, he's been one of the best, uh, you know, they've got one of the best programs in the country every year. And, and, um, it's amazing the the job that Leonard Hamilton and his staff are doing. They're they're really rolling. Head over to Warchant.com for more analysis uh, from our own Michael Langston and other folks in the Rivals.com network. Michael and I will be back tomorrow, Wednesday, 7 p.m. for a recruiting chat, and also 6 p.m. tonight, Corey and myself doing Wake Up War Chant. So uh, plenty to talk about, to discuss, and to hopefully view uh, over here on our YouTube channel. So do uh, subscribe, rate, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll catch up with you all later. Michael, as always, thanks for your time, man. You get it.